as finger moves quickly again, you select the three corresponding numbers for your first, second, and third choice in that order. And if you choose to dispose of your votes while the vote is going on, you have to submit a new set of three numbers to uh, the system, and then you'll lock off the previous stream. That will be your, uh, your vote. Okay? Um, with that said, voting is now open. Kim will be a question. Um, are we to have a question period for vice chairs as well? Um, given that we've already um, expended about half, uh, just over half an hour, I um, think it would be um, in the in the council's best interest, given that we do have a lot of other positions to uh, to to go through. Um, we also did have media at the beginning of the month for whoever is elected by the mayor. In the schedule, we have to. Keep on track with that. I do apologize, but um, this is, this is, these time constraints because it's hard to uh, do these things. Um, uh, any other questions? Uh, Councillor Lee? Well, um, given the fact that many of uh, Canada have already prepared for a five minute speech, but I say that due to time constraint, I'd like to propose a motion to uh, uh, make the speech into three minutes instead with approval of the youth councils. Um, the instructions I was going to give to the um, following, uh, or the, the positions that were following would be three minutes, unless that would be opposed by um, any, any council ambassador. So the chair would be five minutes, and the others would be three, that was my understanding. Um, I saw Councillor Sivaku right first, and then um, Councillor Wang. So, sorry, just to clarify, so are the vice chairs uh, three minutes? Because I thought originally it was supposed to be five. I just want to get that clarified. Yeah, the, the actual, like the other committee chairs, I'm saying, like the different standing committees, would be three minutes. So the chair and the vice chair are five because they sit here. They're separate from these other standing committees. Those other ones are three minutes. Just to clarify. <laughs> Councillor Wang, did you have a, a question? Or? Uh, my question is answered. Thank you. Okay, and so, Councillor Lee? Sorry, I just uh, proposed a motion of uh, making the five minute speech into three minutes. Okay, for the, the, the vice chair. Yes. I, I apologize. Um, uh, if we could get that um, distributed to, to the, um, the councillors as our, for our next vote, we won't vote on the others. We we'll take that, that motion um, first. I believe that would be a new point because it was already supposed to be three minutes. And thus, uh, it was not five minutes. It was originally five minutes, I believe. Um, final, final. First of all, final call for anybody who has not voted for a chair yet. Has everybody voted? Has everyone voted for the chair? Okay. Um, if you voting. Will now be closed. Um, and sorry, for, uh, Councillor Wesley, your question again, please. I wasn't certain, but I thought the chair was the only one that was five minutes. Um, possibly someone could answer that. Um, What's that? It, it's my it's my understanding that the chair and vice chair were five minutes, only because it was both positions are sort of 
different in structure than the actual um, committees. Okay. But we're, we're now going to take a vote on whether to reduce that time. So um, once we have the results, once, once, once we have the results for chair, um, the chair will leave um, the, to attend to uh, one or two things and come back. Um, in that time, I will uh, take this vote um, on whether to reduce the time. Um, well, first of all, are there, I, I, I don't know if any members would be opposed. Are any, uh, are any members opposed to reducing the time, uh, the speaking time from three to five minutes? Okay, so then we will just have a recorded vote that makes, makes a little sense. Um, okay, so if uh, everything's good, we can publish the, the results. Okay, and with that said, um, our chair for the City Union Council of Toronto is uh, Mr. Christopher Lee, and that's here.